Atas Ban Mecca. Yeah. It was Ban Mecca. Ban Mecca. Then I am Ma. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, let me on behalf of the government and people of our state appreciate and thank you for honoring our invitation. We all know how busy this period is. As a governor elect, you have a lot of people that are coming to congratulate you. Let me stand on this time to say congratulations for winning the election. I have never had a doubt that you will win because what I've said, if delivery, if provision of dividend of democracy is appreciated, then there's no need to fear whether you will win or not. I've been to Bauchi to commission projects, I've been to Bauchi to flag up projects. So I want to thank the people of Bauchi State for having that confidence in you and not wasting their vote in the other person. Congratulations and God bless you. Let me also say that just like the Commissioner of Work said, we are here sometimes November, December last year to flag off the entire roads of Ruby Bo. I did make promise that these roads were flagging off them that will be completed and commissioned by my humble self. I give God the glory today. We are here, 29th of March. 2023, were fulfilling promise was made. So this is one aspect of promise made, promise uh, fulfilled. Let me also thank the people of Vimibu, the extension, the other poor people, for the support you gave to the government elect, for the support you gave to the House of Assembly members who had the election, House of Lords and Senate. You voted for us overwhelmingly. I most sincerely thank you for having that trust in our own branch of PDP, which is the promise of the party of promising and fulfilling promises. I don't know what, I don't know those in Abuja, I don't know what they what what, what they stand for. But for us here, we stand if you make promise, you fulfill your promise. Agreement is a agreement. When we have an agreement with you, we fulfill our own part of the agreement. Today, let me say clearly, I'm happy. I'm leaving office fulfilled. I'm leaving office my shoulders high. I'm leaving office and leaving office very, very well. I'm not leaving office to run away so that EFC will not come. I'm leaving office and I will stay here. I'm not going anywhere. When EFC comes, go and show them all the projects. So I'm happy. Everything I've asked from God, he has done for me. This period, I said, God, make it possible for us to have a certain president. God did it for us. I said, God, make it possible for me to have a successor. And God made it possible. So what am I looking for again? God has answered all my prayer. I said, God, allow me to fulfill promises I've made in terms of delivery of projects. And I can say with good authority, I have fulfilled the policies I have made. So I can go home proud. And all of you who are from Apra, you should go home and be proud that your son did not embarrass you. Go home and be proud that your son did not disappoint you. So we're happy. And that is why I said, my last day of commission will be midnight of May. 28, 2023, we'll continue to commission projects. Next week, we are going to commission the Mboba flyover. So that that is already by the end, by the end of April, we are commissioning the Rumbola Mobuta flyover. So we can have the, the congestion of uh, traffic. I hope all of you who have suffered these inconveniences, you can now see why it is necessary that we try to create this road work of, uh, network of uh, roads in order to ease up businesses. I know you may have suffered inconveniences, but again, it's worthwhile. 
that you have suffered, and at the end of the day, we have delivered. No project will be abandoned. And I pray that the support you are giving to me, you will also give more support to the incoming uh, governor and his deputy. I know they will consolidate and continue wherever we have uh, stopped. Last time I came here, I made two promises. One is to donate for the building of Israel Hapan. I want to say that this afternoon we have fulfilled our promise of the 200 million dollars. We get to work and run off of this the last one is one I promised for our late leader, Senator Dr. Obiwa. So that means say that tomorrow morning I will be meeting with the family and then we will discuss on the way forward. Whether we should do it by ourselves or you do it by yourself. It is you that will determine what you want. I don't want anybody to say, no, 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 he has children who have capacity. I don't want this attitude, oh, no, no. If they, if they eat the money in their business, uh, if you don't want to elevate the status of your family, you just continue. And people will ask you a question when they have her. So don't bother. If they want to do it, they should do it. But I think it's better for them to also have experience. And let them give them that assignment and see whether they can carry it out or not. So I want to go home well fulfilled that every promise I've made here last time I gave that I fulfilled the promises. And you too continue to support our own PDP here. Our I said so, I know my colleague may not be happy, but sorry, the other I can do about it. The other I can do about it. Because I believe that we should have strong leadership. I can't support people whose interest is only to amass money. I can't support people where we did congresses and then raise about 12.5 billion naira within two months' time, the money is gone. As somebody has not stayed in office for one year, is building university. I will support that. I won't. And that's why I support that. That bloody criminal must leave the office. If you want PDP to be threatened. I owe no apologies to anybody. I have said before, this is the final fight we will fight. And we are going to win this fight.